<laughs> and then when Heaven Quest came along, you know, that was another, I, I mean, I didn't necessarily expect it. I mean, I wanted it to be like this gritty, I love journey stories, you know, yeah. kind of point A to point B. I love movies like that. Um, there's my dog. <laughs> That's totally ironic. Diggins, come here, buddy. And so, um, but that ended up being also like pretty, pretty hard, you know, um, you want to talk about, well, so anyway, so Patrick got cast in this part because I really liked what he had done in the short films. And so, um, you know, it was, it was still a low budget film. We did the whole movie for a quarter million. Yeah. And, uh, but, you know, Patrick was finally able to be paid a union rate, which was awesome and hot meals and the whole bit or mostly hot meals. <laughs> and uh, but, yeah, you want to talk about some of the the journey there? I mean, obviously yeah. playing that character, but, you know, who was, I think, a good fit for you, but also kind of the, the journey of this 30 days. Yeah, that I love playing Vangel, man. Like there, there's something like really profound that occurred to me and it's so basic, but like. I remember preparing for the role and I was walking my dog, my mom's dog around the block. And, uh, um, and I remember just like thinking of Angel walking and it just really hit me that I'm walking, right? I am Vangel. So it's like, it, it was, I don't want to be too dramatic, but it's like all of a sudden it was like, I am Vangel. You know, it's so simple, this like profound like moment. And then, I just love, it was such a learning experience to play that, um, to play that role. But uh, I'd never been the star of a feature before. I'd been the star of like, you know, um, editorial shoots and short films and commercials, but never, um, you know, they, people talk about carrying a film. I didn't really even think about it like that. And I, um, but it was just like, I just kept focusing. I just wanted to be as real and truthful as possible every scene. And I could tell my vanity would be coming in and be thinking about the fact that I was, you know, the star of this film every now and then. And I just remember consciously being like, give it that to everybody else in the production. I just want to focus on this moment, you know, and be real in this moment. But it was, it was grueling. Yeah. Physically. It was also, it took a toll on me uh, mentally too, because I was very high strung um, because I was feeling a ton of pressure on myself. Like that's been one of my biggest obstacles with acting and it's actually made getting auditions and jobs more of a dread for me because I, I dread all the stress that's going to come with it mm -hmm. but I thank god again I've gotten to a point where now I'm realizing you know through working a lot and the experience yeah. I'm like this is okay like it doesn't have to be as stressful yeah but I was so high strung in that first um for that for heaven quest um I wish my now wife had been with me. I wish I, she was my girlfriend at the time and she's so good for me and helps keep me, uh, keep me in line and, and looks out for me and stuff. Um, Cause again, I was, you know, everyone is feeling stress and pressure and everyone is, has a goal they have to hit. The producer has to just get this on time. The director, you got a vision, you got, you need, to, everyone's got their own thing. And it's like, in a way it's kind of like, everyone's on their own. Like, you know, you got to like do your thing and, um, that was a learning experience for me. Um, but, uh, it was grueling physically. I was also like, because of the stress and other factors I want to get into, um, you know, I remember like, you can see it on screen physically, you know, I have like, I've always been a skinny guy. I was, but I was even skinnier during that, but I think it actually <laughs> contributed to the performance because yeah. I feel like a tortured guy that's in the desert for so long and stuff. Yeah. Um, but, but it was mixed with euphoria. I'm looking back at my diaries and I'm like, God, like I've never felt closer to you. Like I was feeling these highs, like yeah. in this moment. And it was all about that like magical moment where um, it's just real. And when you're talking to someone, you're actually in this fantasy world. And you know what I mean? Like, you know, you're never to the point where you're delusional, but it's like, it, it, it's as an actor, that was just so awesome. And that's why part of the reason I like, love getting photos from that shoot is because a lot of it is like, I can, I, Hey, it's a, it's a snapshot of me, like right there, like in that moment, I love it. You know what I mean? Anyway, I probably went on yeah. too long. No, it's okay. And I mean, you, you, uh, one of the things that, you know, we tried to be careful about, but was tough was, I mean, we couldn't do anything about the temperature. I mean, it was, there were days where it was 115 degrees. The desert was like death Valley type, it was <laughs> deadly heat. Like the, my phone died, like the drone wouldn't work. Yeah. It was, yeah. it was so incredibly hot. I don't think I've ever been that hot. No. Um, it was a dry heat, you know, as they say, um, as they say which there is, I, I must say, <laughs> it, it matters. 
It matters. People knock that, but it makes a big difference. In oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. if there would have been humidity at 115, oh. we would have all died. Yeah. But, um, but we also had Patrick, you know, that the idea was in the original Pilgrim's Progress, he carries a burden on his back. And so the burden, mm-hmm. besides his sin, you know, we wanted it to be a physical thing. And I had from the very get-go of conceptualizing all this was shackles, you know. So we did get some, you know, padded shackles from Warner Brothers and as a prop, and we used those. But they still, over time, I think, yeah. and you had lost some weight, too. So you didn't have as much, like, when we did the, when we did the key, the short film, you were more buff. Like, you were <laughs> thicker. You were, yeah, you'd been working out or something. So, and then for, for Heaven Quest, I, I remember when you showed up at the airport, I'm like, oh my gosh, he's so thin. And so we put those shackles on you. And over time, even though we were attempting to be careful as best we could, we didn't really have like a second AD to care for all of your needs and all that. Yeah. We tried our yeah. best and it still was like, you were getting cut up and bruised. Yeah. And we finally, like, again, just here's an inexperienced story for all of you first time directors. Like I'm a backyard guerrilla filmmaker. <laughs> And suddenly I've got to like really think about my actor's knees and their ankles and a wetsuit. Yeah. And, th- and like, you just don't, I never think, you know, when Patrick and I were doing small stuff or when I've done other short films, it's like, Hey, we're going to like pretend to hit your head here and we're going to do this. Yeah. You can fall over here. Suddenly it was like, crap, like Patrick's really taking a pounding and we didn't yeah. always have a stunt presence. We had a stunt presence sometimes. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's something that after, you know, people would pull me aside and, and people who had been on professional sets, and I just didn't know, you know, and they were like, hey, man, we really got to make sure we take care of our actors a little better. You know, yeah. like, if you're wet, like throw a towel or a blanket over. So we, we started to kind of adapt and get better. We just didn't have like the personnel. That was part of our problem. We just did, we had 20 people on set, but we really needed like 30. And yeah. Um, yeah, so Patrick's wrist really got beat up. And I remember you falling on some gravel paths. And I think finally about maybe a week or two weeks in, we started getting like knee pads, elbow pads, falling, like stunt pads. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, we almost knocked your tooth out at one point. That was totally my bad. Uh, <laughs> that was a bad day. Um, that was a bad day. That was probably the darkest day for us. That was us. a dark day. Yeah, that was a bad day. Friends. And like, it, I think there was, there was also just so many months of me being high strung. Yeah. And when that happened, I didn't even know what to do. Like, I, you know what I mean? Like, I didn't even know what to think. And, I just had to like shut down. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Like, we did it. We did it wrong. Like we we could have done. We ended up doing it later, safer with stunt guys around. Yeah. And you know, it's just me being a backyard filmmaker. And then that was an extremely valuable lesson I learned hmm. about okay, like that should have been handled differently. You know, and that hmm. stuff should. Not that actors don't get hurt. I mean, Tom Cruise broke his ankle. I mean, stuff happens. I right. mean, things happen. But you know, you you just have to really. And it really that was kind of a pivotal point for me as a learning experience. Cause I'm like, man, this is a very physical shoot. Yeah. We need to be really careful about, you know, injuring. Cause man, if we would have knocked your tooth out, Oh my gosh, like that could have, we, we had, you know, barely enough money to finish the 30 days. Yeah. And if we would have knocked your tooth out. I mean, in, man, in that what, been bad. yeah. And I mean, obviously, you know, there, you know, it, it was gritty. It was low budget. We still had insurance and all that. It wasn't like we were being totally, you know yeah. what I mean? Like production was totally mindless right. or anything. But, you know, that's just another thing is like, <clears throat> I know nobody had anything nefarious in their minds or hearts. No, of course like, not. You know no. what I mean? So right. it's like, but that's why I'm saying like, you need to look out, not because there's like, these people are trying to suck your blood or anything, but it's like, because we all are just eager and we all want to get things yeah. done. As an actor, I should have known better to, to like, because I remember when you were like, you know, when we were going to fall on the gravel, it was like, I'm, I was just like, yeah, okay. You know, and then yeah. by the first take, I fall and I realize that there's like a piece of rock and stuck in my hand. I'm like, yeah, yeah this isn't going to work as well as I thought, but I, I kept being like, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. And a very uh, authentic fall though. I like it. Yeah. it very <laughs> yeah. real. Like Javon like slams you in the back and you go flying. Forward. Yes, yes. Like that was pretty real. And yeah, that, that's the, the thing is like, the thing that people, the pe- thing that, sorry, the thing that people don't see is that it, it's not just a one take thing. So it's like, we, we didn't have a time to do a ton of takes, but we would do two to three to four takes each Absolutely. thing. So it's not like you're falling once you're falling when it's a wide shot, you're falling when it's a close yeah. shot, you're falling when it's a medium shot. And then you're doing that two to three times each. So who here would want to fall six times, seven times on gravel? With their on their yeah. 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 It's, and that's the thing. This is probably, dude, I don't know about dude, but like it's part of my, because I, I, I lack a like, let's say like a formal classical training as an actor or whatever. I've taken a, a lot of classes, um, but like particularly I took with this guy named Harry Master George, who has changed everything for me as an actor. 
But um, so I'm confident in my abilities. I wasn't always, but um, uh, I, I I wouldn't. I would give the same intensity for a wide as a close up, and I and technically I don't know if an yeah, actor right. for their own energy and sake should be doing that. But for me, I'm like, I can't. I don't feel right not giving everything in a take. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I'm learning. Like okay, maybe in a wide when they can barely even see your face, you don't have to be quiet as much. I don't know. But like maybe that was something I could have done. But as an actor, again, like like. I should have known better not to like do certain things or, to, you know, and again, not because anyone was being evil, but just like, Hey, maybe we shouldn't do this. But uh, yeah, I was, I was getting really beat up. And especially cause like you said, I was at a, a, a frailer place physically too. So, but I think, uh, you know, it, um, yeah. at the very least it, it came across on screen, but I'll tell you what, like even back then, again, I bring up being eager so often, but like um, I was probably okay. I, well, I was, I was fine with physical harm for the sake of a performance. Whereas now as I'm, you know, yeah. having more respect for myself and, you know, I have a wife now too and all this. And, but like, you know, and I look more at my body as like, you know, I don't think acting is worth it. I'm not going to, you know, supposedly like Brad Pitt chipped his tooth for Fight Club and all this stuff. I'm like, no, no, I, I just, I love acting. I love it. But I got one body. Do you know what I mean? Like I can't do this anymore. Well, so. and I think I think the the thing to do is to say I, I think I made some assumptions because we had done short films and those yeah. are really different. You know, I remember talking to a couple of people on set and they were saying, "Dude, short films are really different." Like, yeah, it's it's fu- it's four days. It's a little bit of physicality, but when you got to make the marathon, when you got to do the twenty, I think our full shoot was like twenty five days or something. Five, yeah, okay, yeah, with a couple of days off, but. Yeah, I mean, just lessons learned. You know, this is good lessons learned about taking care of your actors. And like, of course, we never wanted to hurt anybody. And we did right. later in the shoot because we had to really manage our budget money because we we would have stunt guys come in for a period of time and then they would leave and we have another guy come in. So we like Javon at the beginning and then we had like Tyler and Talon later. Yeah. And when those guys are on set, it's like they just they just see things differently and they understand like, hey, fall this way, take yeah. a punch this way. And that was really good. I mean, I'd never been around a stunt guy. So it was like, and those guys have worked on like some of the Marvel stuff and like, you know, they know what they're doing. They're professionally trained. They know how to fall. They know how to punch. They know how to take a punch. So they were training people, you know, on the fly, but still having just, we just didn't have the money to have those people every day. So, you know, that's just the, that's the struggle of trying to do things the right way the careful way. And I think every actor is different. Like some actors are like, man, I'm going in there. I'll hit that tree with my forehead. I don't care if it draws blood. And then other actors are like, Hey, I'm comfortable with this. Yeah. And that's probably a conversation we should have had. And that's, that's a lesson learned. Right. Um, right, right, right. Even, even like when we were in the water, you know, like, you know, we, we it didn't even occur to me to get a wetsuit. And then people are like, are you guys getting wetsuits? And I'm like, okay, I guess we're getting wetsuits. So we like right, jumped right, right. online shop and we're trying to buy wetsuits real quick. And so it's just, just stuff like that. But anyway, uh, it was a, yeah, it was a great experience. I mean, Patrick, I think I can say this, you know, the, the first day of the shoot, I think people, they were trying to talk me into, because they didn't, they didn't know you. I mean, some of these producers in LA, they're like, Hey, I know the guy that was in God's not dead. And I know this guy that's in this. And I know this guy over here. And I know this actor. And I'm like, I really think Patrick can do this. I think he's going to be really good. And I remember that first day at the green screen, we did all the, uh, the green screen shoot. You know, I remember like the producers going, Yeah. Like he's got it, he's got it, you know, like they, it was like, they had to kind of trust me. And I was like, I know he can do this role, you know, and we can cast whoever you want in these other roles, but I really think Patrick's good. I think you have to look for it, everything. And, and they were like, after that first day, they were like, okay, we don't need to worry about Patrick. Like he's got it. 